Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in our country right now. It's a pretty historic moment when you think about it. The first African-American president, mm. President-elect Barack Obama. This is historic. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you? It's historic, and uh, I think this time is full of optimism, and it's an opportunity for everybody to get it together and start working together for uh, us as, as Republicans to reach out to Barack Obama and the new administration that will be ushered in and offer the solutions that we see for uh, meeting some of America's great challenges right now. This is an opportunity to all be working together, and of course, uh, President-elect Obama had promised also bipartisan efforts to meet the challenges. So let's seize this opportunity. Let's take them up on that offer and let's all start working together. Are you ready to help them? Absolutely, especially on energy independence, energy security that we need for this nation. Being the governor of an energy producing state, knowing that we have the domestic solutions there in our state and in other energy producing states, uh, I'm more than willing and able to help uh, President elect Obama to start tapping into the domestic solutions that we have now so we can quit being so reliant on foreign sources of energy. So if he reaches out to you and says, Governor Palin, I need your help on energy or some other issues, kids with special needs, yeah. for example, and says, I, I want you to be part of the commission, you would be more than happy to say yes, Mr. President. It would be my honor to assist and support uh, our new president and the new administration, yes. And I speak for other Republicans, other Republican governors also, they being willing also to, again, seize this opportunity that we have to progress this nation together, a united front. Because, you know, during a campaign, every presidential campaign, things are said, it's tough, as you well know, it gets sometimes pretty fierce out there and during the campaign you said this you said this is not a man who sees america as you see it and how i see america and then you went out to say someone who sees america it seems as being so imperfect that he's palling around with terrorists who would target their own country. Well, I still am concerned about that association with Bill Ayers, and, and if anybody still wants to talk about it, I will, because this is an unrepentant domestic terrorist who had campaigned to blow up, to destroy our Pentagon and our U.S. Capitol. That's an association that still bothers me, and I think it's still fair to talk about it. However, the campaign is over. That chapter is closed. Now is the time to move on and to, uh, again, make sure that all of us are doing all all that we can to progress this nation, keep us secure, get the economy back on the right track, and many of us do have some ideas on how to do that, and hopefully we'll be able to put all that wisdom and experience to good use together. So looking back, you don't regret that t tough language during the campaign? No, and I do not think that it is off-base, nor mean-spirited, nor negative campaigning to call someone out on their associations and on their record, and, and that's why I did it. And just one historic footnote, was that your idea, or did somebody write those lines? For you. Well, it was a collaborative effort there in deciding how do we start bringing up some of the associations that uh, perhaps perhaps would be impacting on an administration on the future of America. But again, though, uh, Wolf, knowing that it, it really, at this point, I don't want to point fingers backwards and, and play the blame game, certainly on, on anything that, that took place in terms of strategy or messaging in the campaign. Now is the time to move forward together, start progressing America.